In this new age of egos and over-comparison disorders, we all think we're working our best. But this is actually ignorant and causes stagnation. The simple fact that you think that you're working harder than most actually causes you to work hard less. And when that lion who puts his head down, stayed humble, surpasses you, excuses and regret is all you'll be able to fathom. So I watched a lot of fitness YouTubers recently and holy crap has it humbled me. Has it really humbled me to watch these guys get after it? I mean, I used to think that I was unique, special, a snowflake. And then I realize I'm not doing crap. I watch these fitness YouTubers, right? They hit double sessions, sometimes triple sessions, maybe a bodybuilding session and then a powerlifting session. They have trainers. They, they watch what they eat. I mean, for example, right? I used to think that I like discovered fire when I realized that alcohol is actually terrible for your body. It can actually give you like a huge bubble gut. And you know, it just, it does a lot of other things. Lower testosterone does a range of things that are just counteractive completely when it comes to fitness. I thought I discovered fire. I was like, holy crap, I don't drink. I'm, I'm way ahead of everybody who drinks beers and all this. Watched a YouTuber recently, a fitness YouTuber. And he's just like, yeah. No, I don't, I don't drink. I don't. It, it, it wasn't even like a big deal for him. It wasn't even a big, it wasn't even a big thought. And like how I said, these guys are hitting double, triple sessions. So, you know, I gotta ask myself, what is this? What is this feeling that I'm feeling right now? What it's called, what I deemed the hard work bias. There could be an actual official name for it, but it's just what I call the hard work bias. It goes like this. You think you're putting in work, but in reality, you're actually not putting in as much work as you possibly can. It's like this. What if I told you you had to make $400 in four days or else your leg gets chopped off or something like that? You're gonna make that money or you're going to come close to that money. You're gonna make more money than you ever had before. What if it's a thousand dollars? You're gonna come super close to that. As long as you don't give up, you will come very close to that goal. Because it's do or die, right? It's, it's that or your leg gets chopped off. That's what I mean. That's the hard work bias. We put in enough work that is truly maintenance. How do we conquer this? How do we get over this? And that is the second half of this video. I got three points for you. Number one is expose yourself. Just like how I was watching those fitness influencers. Expose yourself to people in your field. Ask yourself what practices are they actually implementing? They most likely, if they are further than you, then they most likely know some knowledge that you do not know. Expose yourself to these people. Don't close your eyes. Don't think, oh, I know it all. I'm smarter than them and they don't know whatever. Because once they surpass you, you're going to be fooled with excuses and regret. So expose yourself to these people. Have conversations with these people. The internet shows you the lives of pretty much everybody. It's just how it is. So what practices are they doing? What are they eating? Blah, blah, blah. When it comes to some more of a fitness aspect, what are they eating? What protein are they using? What pre-workouts are they using? When it comes to more of a business aspect, how are they marketing themselves? You get what I'm saying? What practices are they using expose yourself to these people and it will slowly get you to actually their level. Next one is it's usually the hard work. Like how I said previously, a lot of people want to say luck, excuses, blah, 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 blah. You know, blood, this like black pill terminology, this black pill type of mind. I'm, I'm gonna make a whole video about the black pill. Anytime you see somebody putting in that grind, you should just say it's usually the hard work. 
Anytime you see somebody surpass you in any sort of field, just say it's usually the hard work. Because what does this do? This takes the steering wheel actually in your hands instead of saying oh it's luck luck is like divine luck is like godly you really can't measure luck but you can measure hard work and if you work as hard as them if you just say it's usually the hard work the reason why they surpass me is because of the hard work if you can say that and accept that yes it will be a shot to your ego yes it's gonna hurt a little bit but if you can accept that you automatically put the ball in your court because you realize now that all you have to do is be persistent, put in that hard work, and you will eventually reach their level or even surpass them. Stop, stop with these excuses, stop with these, you know, rich parents, genetics, all this, all this, whatever. Even if all that is true, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't give you any power. So chuck most of the results that they are getting the results that you get the results that most people get is usually just the work that they put in and the last one stay humble so let's say you figured out all these things you figured out all these things you put in the work you put in the practices you did everything and you're finding out more stuff on top of that stay humble stay humble and don't always show and tell don't always show and tell for example i'm I, I was talking to my homie the other day he works at this job he works like 12 hours a day and i'm like hey man you should uh you know you need to start you need to start working out more i, I don't really care if he works out or if he doesn't work out but i was kind of getting on his ass about it a little bit you know i was like you gotta start working out more and he's like well you know I, I work 12 hour shifts and all this stuff and i was like you know what I actually worked at your job. I used to work at your job. I worked at the same place that you worked at. He's like, no, but you didn't work 12 hour shifts. I'm like, actually I did. Actually I had to wake up at three, get on the bus at five, come back home at 5 p.m. and I still put in a workout session. And I still made a YouTube video. So that's that, that's that bias. But you see, I didn't show and tell. I didn't, sh I didn't tell everyone. And then he was like, whoa, he heard that. He was like, whoa, I, I didn't know you actually did that. I'm like, yeah. Once you put in these steps, once you find out what you got to do, don't show and tell. Only tell if somebody asks. Only tell if it's a teacher type of ordeal. But you don't have to tell everyone. You don't have to put on your Snapchat story, man, I'm grinding. I'm out here grinding. It's better to just pull up in the Lamborghini than show everybody that you have the Lamborghini. Then, oh yeah, I just bought a new Lamborghini, bro. I just bought it. Better to just pull up on it. Better to just pull up in it. So remember that as well. Once you stay humble, you will get more information because you're not capping your knowledge at a certain level. To externalize greatness, remember to do what you gotta do. And remember, the hard work bodies come to this come back to this video sometimes and remind yourself of this concept